Hello, and welcome back to the Cosmic Companion. This week, Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion offers a special episode on Comet Atlas, which could soon become the greatest comet seen from the Northern Hemisphere in over two decades. The comet, discovered by an observatory designed to protect Earth from asteroids, may even be visible during the day at the end of May. Also known as C2019Y4, this comet was first seen by asteroids at the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, in Hawaii during December 2019. At the time, the comet was exceedingly dim, but this comet grew 4,000 times brighter in only a month. This increase is far greater than astronomers have predicted, and it could potentially signal the comet may soon be exceptionally bright. Comets are essentially dirty snowballs. As the comet approaches the sun, the heat will drive off some of the ice which makes up the nucleus, or the main body of the object. If the comet holds its shape as it continues to heat, then Comet Atlas could grow as bright as the planet Venus, which is the brightest object in a night sky other than the moon. At the end of May, Comet Atlas will make its closest approach to the sun. Now, how the comet reacts to this tremendous heating that it will experience will determine how bright Comet Atlas will appear to observers here on Earth. One promising characteristic is that the comet, which passed the orbit of Mars in March, is closely following the path taken by one of the greatest comets in history, the Great Comet of 1844. At the end of March, the comet is visible using binoculars to observers anywhere under the northern hemisphere skies away from city lights and down to about 22 degrees south of the equator. Throughout the entire time the comet is visible, it will never set as seen from the northern hemisphere, shining in the region of the sky not too far from the north star. At its current rate of brightening, Comet Atlas could become visible to the naked eye under dark skies during the first weeks of April. For sky watchers in the Northern Hemisphere, this would be a sight unseen since the dual shows of Comet Yakitake in 1996 and hale -Bopp the following year. When Yakitake was at its peak, the tail of the comet stretched halfway across the sky. In May, Comet Atlas could shine with a green hue, providing a unique view for viewers in the Northern Hemisphere. The brightest predictions for the comet suggest it could even become brilliant enough to be seen during the day. The peak brightness of Comet Atlas would depend largely on how much material is encased within its nucleus. If the comet is sizable and it does not fall apart as it is heated by the sun, it could put on an amazing show in May. When it was first spotted on December 28th, the comet was 439 million kilometers, or 273 million miles, from the Sun. At its closest approach, Comet Atlas will come within 37.8 million kilometers, or about 23.5 million miles, of our parent star. The comet is brightening at nearly an unprecedented rate, and by March 17th, it was already 6 hundred times brighter than predicted. The path traveled by Comet Atlas, the same as that taken by the Great Comet of 1844, suggests that each of these bodies, and potentially others, may have broken off of an ancient mega-comet long ago. 
The Great Comet of 1844 was first seen by observers at the Cape of Good Hope on December 18th of that year and was visible without the aid of a telescope through January 1845. Several comets astronomers thought were destined for greatness, however, failed to live up to their potential. In 2013, comet Panstars became as bright as Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, but it was positioned low on the horizon as seen in the Northern Hemisphere, making it difficult for people to see. The last two bright comets, McNaught in 2007 and Lovejoy in 2011, were only visible from the Southern Hemisphere. In 1974, Many astronomers believed that comet Kohoutek would light up the night sky, but it failed to deliver. Similar expectations were dashed by comets Austin in 1990 and Ison in 2013. Even if Comet Atlas fails to live up to its potential, or shatters as it approaches the sun, the display could still make for an interesting show. Several spacecraft, including NASA's stereo spacecraft with its heliospheric imager, will be well positioned in May and June to record the development of the tail and will see the breakup of the comet if it occurs. If Comet Atlas fails to live up to its potential, it will be a long time before we see it again. Once it heads back out to the outer solar system, it will not return for another 6,000 years. On this week's podcast episode of Astronomy News with the Cosmic Companion, I interviewed Dr. Joe Burchett of the University of California, Santa Cruz about his study using yellow slime mold to model ribbons between galaxies. Here's a preview of that interview. If you got like a, a, a an interstate highway, and you got mm-hmm. if you just saw all the major cities in the United States, um, you could see where okay, if I were to try to connect all of those cities by a road system, um, you could sort of see how this um, how this network would would would, would play out. Um, but actually, actually. Taking all of the uh, taking all of those data and um, actually producing such a network, designing such a network is is not so straightforward. <laughs> Please stay safe, stay healthy, and keep your wonder alive. If you enjoyed this episode of the Cosmic Companion, please download and share the episode on YouTube or on any major podcast provider. We also have a new page for updates specifically about Comet Atlas at cometatlas.info. For more details on space and astronomy news, please visit The Cosmic Companion.